welcome back to my channel. My name is Jingle if you're new and today I thought I'd do a little story time video on how I won my beauty pageant. Came top 20 in Canada. So if you guys want to see how I started my journey then please keep on watching. Why don't I like try for a beauty pageant? Like I've heard of them. I had seen like some winner on a newspaper and I was like okay like that's a good idea. I've never thought of that before. And then my mom also knew that I love this stuff and she totally supported me as well as my dad. And so one day she sat down with me. She like, she sat me down actually. And she's like, okay, like let's apply. So we sat down and we came through, like if you just search up like beauty pageants in Canada, I came through out like there's so many beauty pageants happening. So I came across a couple of them, but then I really liked this one. It was Miss Teenage Canada. I was looking at some of the past winners and like what their platform is, what they stand for, all those type of things. So I was like, okay, like this is pretty cool. So we sat down together. Um, all I had to do, I think initially was send in like a picture and just um, why I think I should win. Small little paragraph in a picture, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was it. And I sent it in and yeah, I never really expected too much from it. Um, the next day or a couple days later, I get an email back saying, hey, like, you know, like we liked your application. I was like, my application? Okay, okay. So I was really excited about that. Then um, I think I filled out another, like a questionnaire type of thing and I sent it in and um, they were like, yeah, like we like you so far, like whatever you got through the second round. And I was like, okay, like something is happening. And this is like my first time trying for anything. So I had like zero expectations of anything. Like I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna lose. It's gonna be an experience. Then I got selected for like a Skype interview, which I was really, really scared for. So the main lady who runs this pageant, uh, the interview was with her on Skype and like she would ask us all these questions, of course, on why you should win, um, what makes you the best candidate, like what would you do with your platform? Because guys, beauty pageants are not just about looking beautiful in front of a camera. It's like, if you win, what are you gonna do with your platform? Like there needs to be a purpose to your beauty. So then I had my interview. I got selected for my regionals. So that was for Ontario. So I was really excited for that. It was actually held in Toronto. So we went for um, like five nights. Yeah, it was like five nights. Um, there were about 80-ish girls. Um, this, guys, this was like two years ago. So I don't really remember the exact number, but it was like about 80-ish girls and we all competed throughout five days. And then whoever would win, um, they would make it to Miss Teenage Canada for the national competition. Every day, like one day we had like um, a swimsuit round, one day we had um, a talent round, one day was a uh, cocktail dress, a long dress, like there were just all these different rounds happening. For the talent round, I actually know how to do Bharatanatyam, which is an Indian classical dance, and who knew it was gonna come in handy? Um, so I was able to do that and um, kind of lead the dance for that, which was super cool. I think I might've gotten some points for the talent round. Then we had like a swimming suit round where we kind of learned how to walk. Well, as well as for the other rounds as well. We Guys, the main thing here was how to walk. So they really taught us um, this guy came in who was like a professional. Um, he worked with like models and people in the industry. So he taught us how to do like uh, catwalks and how to do like walks, like an elegant type of walk and how to smile and how to hold your body and like your posture and things like things that you would never think of in real life. Uh, we learned all those type of things. We also learned a couple of dance routines and things like that because what was gonna happen is for the last day, um, all the parents would come and it would be like an audience, your friends, your family could come and watch you guys. Um, so for the first four days, it was just um, like five judges and us like on stage. So um, the judges were like a past winner and like four other people, I guess, in the industry. Um, so yeah, we competed throughout those rounds and all of the rounds, they counted up to your points. And then at the end, if you had like the highest points, like you would make it to the nationals. So all the days passed, it was a lot of fun. The last day came and we did all of our routines and everything that we were taught how to do. And then at the end, we all had to stand in line. So we all stood in this like, like three different rows and all the winners were being announced. So if you were called up, you would go to the front 
get your tiara and then walk to the side. And out of 80 girls, I think only like 20 or not even 20, maybe like 15-ish girls uh, were gonna make it to the next round. And so it was super nerve wracking, guys. By the way, you have to like stand like your hands on your hips. You're just like smiling. So you're like inside, you're like tense. You're like, they better call my name. But outside you're like smiling. You're like, okay, 10 more names to go. Okay, five more names to go. My name is not here yet. It's kind of stressful. They didn't call your name. You all had a number, a number assigned to you. So my number was 13. So when they said my number, I went up, got my tiara. And I pretty much just zoned out after that because I was so stressed to just hear my name. So once I heard it, I was like, yes, yes. Um, my parents were in the audience. My best friend came as well. So it was super nice. It was also live streamed on YouTube. So a lot of my friends got to watch it as well. So this was my crown that I got. It's super shiny, guys. When I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, it literally feels like you're a princess. And so they put it on you just like this. And yeah. Uh, then you walk off to the side of the stage. You also have to represent a region. So I represented the Peel region. So I got a sash. My sash says Miss Teenage Peel 2018. So we would just put it on like that. So anytime we'd go to any events or anything like that, we would have our sash on like this and our crown on as well. So once I won that, then um, everybody went home and then there, were gonna, there was obviously gonna be like a national competition that was gonna be in June. So we had, this happen in December. So we had like, you know, quite some time in between. So in between there, like you're supposed to use your uh, platform for something. So I started contacting like different like companies, like um, different newspapers and um, some television places. And I did a lot of like cool things in between. I did a lot of bridal fashion shows. I did a lot of runway fashion shows. I did photo shoots, magazine covers, newspapers, um, commercials, music videos, advertisements. Guys, anytime like a newspaper um, had me, had my picture and my story, like my dad printed out all of them and we put it in um, like a little binder just to, you know, just as a memory. And also I have these uh, magazine covers which I'm super excited about. I was finally part of a magazine. Guys, I've always wanted to be in a magazine and I finally got to be in one, so I was super excited. So here I am. Um, it says Jingle Jingle TH Star. My second magazine, guys, was even cooler because I actually got to be on the cover, which was a dream come true. Um, it was actually about, um, I'm Gujarati, so um, what I talked about is how Gujarati celebrate Diwali. So this photo shoot was literally done in my kitchen, guys, for my national competition. The day came around for that as well, and it was in Toronto, thank God, because like, all the other girls that had won around Canada, they all had to fly into Toronto. So I got lucky. Um, once again, it was like five-ish days we spent together. We did different activities, just like we did in the regional round. And then on the last day, they called out the winners and I came in top 20 and then they never called my name again. Um, but that's okay. So I won top 20 in Canada, which was such a big thing for me. Also, I don't think there were that many other Indian girls in general that were in the pageant or had, that had made it to top 20, which I thought was super cool that I get to represent my culture. Um, so yeah, I made it to top 20. It was my first time doing a beauty pageant. So I was super proud about that. Of course, I had all the support of my friends and family, uh, which is really nice to have. And then, yeah, from there, I haven't really done any more beauty pageants. I've just kind of done things on my own, like modeling shows and magazine covers and things like that on my own. Um, I'm looking forward to doing possibly more beauty pageants like Miss India. That's pretty much my journey and hopefully it's just the beginning and there's a lot more to come. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any more questions on anything, please, please leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer all of them and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.